Hola, how are you guys doing? Well, this video is another. So, here we are, living in a tiny house, as you all know if you've seen some of my videos, and it's all good and nice and perfect. But not this DIY shelving project. It's not, it's not straight. And because it's not straight, some parts of it can't fit well. I'll just have to sandpaper this later. For now, I'm gonna do the other one. So if this goes well, then maybe I will not use this anymore. I'll try to do better with this one, and hopefully I get it straight and I get it right. loves routine and who hates routine please put it down in the comment section below because me i i'm kind of like in between i hate and love routine i hate it because there are times when i just want to be lazy and be like a potato laying nice and warm under the sheets and i love it because it provides structure in this uncertain unorthodox and i don't know life you know i wasn't able to have a routine for myself now with this routine, I can rely on myself that I can do my tasks and tick them off the list. That crap is so satisfying. <laughs> Sorry! I've been cooking a lot. I feel to have more freedom to cook in this tiny kitchen. Tati! emphasize the feel here because in the old shared house I am free to cook there was no strict rules or anything as long as you don't burn the house down then it's okay what I mean is I feel to have more freedom to move around use the tools and other shenanigans because they're mine I hate breaking or ruining someone else's stuff and I was always so careful and try to use only what's mine and there is that unseen unsaid barrier there it's not the other person, it's just me thinking this way, I think. This change, but people keep it off for better. You'll never be. I'm off, you're barely keeping up when you started. That's why living in this tiny house is really nice. And probably the best house that I've lived here in Australia. Happy belated Father's Day to you, Philippines! Happy belated Father's Day to you, Philippines! Happy belated Father's Day to you! Happy belated Go Father's Day me. to you! Thank you. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without you. Girl, I'm lost without you. I swear I'm lost without you. All I think about is. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without you. In this tiny house, we celebrate even the small moments. 
I mean, Father's Day is not a small occasion, but sometimes we're so busy and caught up with our work, we often don't make the effort to celebrate those moments anymore. I find these moments are the ones that really sticks in my head. Our conversations, emotions, and my husband's pool of tears that wells up on his eyes just before it falls. Those are the moments that I capture in my heart. Intimacy is a huge factor for joy. Intimacy depends on you, you know? It can be the literal love making or just the intimate cold nights where you cozy up with your body heat and just converse or share what you've learned from your Devo, like what we are doing right now. I don't know. You define it. For me, it's this. Plus wine, sometimes. And behold! The heavens were open to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. And suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Oh shoot, we're moving again. Um.